In the present time, forgetting and poor memory has become like an infection. No matter what the age is, age from age seven to 70, all people, everyone, they complain about forgetting and poor memory or bad memory. People forget their classes, people forget their keys. Uh, when they sit in dark, parents remember to have forgotten the, uh, to pay the electric bill. Foreign language learners, students, they forget the words they have learned. And then sometimes we forget at home where we put the remote control. What about you? Do you forget? If yes, what do you forget? Uh, here on the slide, you see here a long poem. Actually, it's not very long. A sonnet by, by William Shakespeare. In the past, people were able to memorize this after just one reading. At that time, memory, their memory was very powerful, sharp and keen. What about you today in this modern world? How many of you are able to memorize this by heart just after one reading? Anybody who claims that he is able to memorize this after two or three times of reading, 10 times? So what is wrong with us? We are victims of mental pollution. Decades ago, our access to technology, media, was limited, expensive and difficult. We were bound to the ringing telephone, big diskettes, massive record players, and the computers, they were huge. Unlike the past, however, today, our access to technology and media is easier, cheaper, and more diverse. Even people have more than one favorite media product. We benefit from MP3 players, MP4 players. We use satellite TV. We watch cable TV. And most of us, we surf on the internet. We play video games. We watch movies from DVD players. As a result, what do we have? We are victims, again, of mental pollution. And therefore, we suffer from poor memory. Let me then define what is mental pollution. It is the contamination of human mind by exposure to high amount of visual stimuli, especially with sexual and violent content in different media formats, video games, movies, movie trailers, and then websites, so on and so forth. Depending on their quantity, size, and quality, Mental pollution can be detrimental to human learning. Since they excite emotions, they change the brain chemistry, and then they release hormones. They can increase our blood pressure, heart rate. As a result, what happens? We lose our concentration, our attention, judgment, and decision-making becomes very difficult. Uh, mental pollution acts like a computer virus. It slows the computer memory by copying itself from one file to another file. And then until all the functions of the computer collapse. Did you ever have a virus in your computer? Yes. What happens? What happened? Let me guess. The computer started working slower and slower. It did not obey your commands. The screen, the monitor got frozen. Very briefly, the computer went crazy. What I believe is mental pollution is like traffic in the brain. Imagine that this slide here, you know, here, shows a traffic in Bombay, in India. Imagine there are millions of people, thousands of cars, and then, of course, cows. Is it easy to move from one place to another place? No, it's very difficult. For cars, even it takes hours to reach a destination, even if it's very short. In the same way, in our brain, we have synaptic connections. 
interaction between neurons. If you are a victim of mental pollution, irrelevant information, unfortunately, the interaction between neurons is very slow. It's slowed down, therefore, our learning takes a lot of time. And later, remembering is very difficult. Let's take a look at the other slide. You know, it's a highway somewhere in Europe. As you see, it's white. And then you, ca you can drive as fast as you want. Most probably, it's a high-speed highway. And reaching your destination is a matter of time. You can move from one place to another one very quickly. This is the brain, is like the brain of a person who is not subject to mental pollution or who doesn't suffer from mental pollution. His mind is clean and pure. The synaptic connections are very fast and learning and remembering is accelerated. As you know, Africa is the poorest continent on the earth. However, in relation to languages, it is the richest one. According to Ethnologue 2005 edition, in Nigeria, whose population is around 140 million, do you know how many people speak languages, different languages? 400. According to, according to a further research, 85% of Africans are multi multilingual who speak between 12 to 15 languages. How many languages can you speak? Please raise your hands if you are able to speak more than five foreign languages. So I see here, I guess we have people from Africa mostly. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> By the way here, did you know that Africa the entire continent uses less internet than the city of New York. Do you see here how Africans manage to learn so many languages because they have less access to media technology, thus they do not suffer from mental pollution, therefore they learn very quickly and very fast. Uh, An extra information in some places of Africa it is forbidden, like Zambia, it's forbidden to get married from the same village. You have to look for your future wife. You have to find her from a different village, tribe, most probably whose language you do not understand. Imagine you come to a family, to a tribe, as a bride, and you don't understand the language of your mother-in-law, blah, 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 blah. If you do not suffer from mental pollution, don't worry you will manage to learn the language of, of your mother-in-law very quickly, and you will communicate with your new family. Let me give you another example from the history. In the picture, you see a churchman, a cardinal, whose name is Mezzofenti, an Italian churchman. He used to live in a monastery in the 18th century, isolated from civilization. These churchmen, he was able to, able to speak 38 languages and 50 dialects. Please remember, he lived in the 18th century, devoid of media and technology. Sure, he was talented, he was gifted, and he was smart, but what I believe is, he was far away from mental pollution. If he had lived today in this information age, with this technology, what do you think? Would he be able to learn so many languages, like in the past? I doubt. As teachers, we have to be very careful when we give projects or homework to the students. Sometimes a topic like love, innocent topic, can become very dangerous for them. What happens? You send the kids home to do some internet search about love. They turn on the computer, Google is opened, they type in love, they want to find some pictures. All those pictures they will find on Google images, are they going to be innocent? Let's say they want to beautify their project with some videos from YouTube, and again they type in love into YouTube. 
all those videos, are they going to be innocent? Do you see how much mental pollution students are exposed to? Therefore, we have to be very careful. I would like to mention of one of my experiments here, what I did. I divided students into two groups randomly, one control group and the other exper experimental group. In the control group, I made them watch documentaries about animal life and plant life. In the experimental group, I exposed them to mental pollution, videos, TV commercials, movie trailers, and music video clips with sexual and violent content, what we see every day on the TV. Of course, I gave them a pretest, a post-test, and a week later, a delayed post-test. What is the conclusion? Those students in the control group, they remember twice and more vocabulary than the students in the exper experimental group who were exposed to mental pollution. Uh, we live in the age of information. Of course, we have to benefit from the blessings of technology. No doubt about this. However, those who are able to control their use of media will survive. They will swim in this ocean of technology, media. However, those who jump, who will jump from one link to another link on the internet, those who will watch whatever appears on the monitor, computer monitor, TV screen, they will sink or drown in the deep ocean waters of technology because of mental pollution. Thank you very much for listening to me.